Greetings. This presentation is dedicated to all the teachers in the world who would like to convert their PowerPoint presentations to video in order to save either on an intranet or to upload to YouTube. Let us in detail look at how it is done. First, you create your presentation. Then, you animate. This is so that the audience must focus on just one item at a time as your lecture is being delivered. We need to record our narration on it. For that, go to the master chart and on top you find this switch called slideshow. When you click on that, this drop box will open and then you click on record narration. When you do that, this window will open. Next you click on set microphone level and when we do that, box opens. At that time, you are instructed to read the following text. I am using the microphone setup wizard. When you do that, the microphone wizard will automatically set the most comfortable level at which your voice is to be recorded. And then you click on OK. When you do that, it will ask, would you like to record from the first slide or from the current slide? It is rather better that you record in the beginning slide by slide. But once you are thorough with the process, you can record the entire narration at one go as it is being done now. Next, after recording your narration, you need to save your presentation. Choose a folder and then save it in PowerPoint 97 to 2003. Now, this is done so that it will play across all Windows platforms. If you save it in the most recent Windows 7 as PPTX, it will not open in other Windows uh, earlier versions and that will be a problem. After saving your presentation, you need to convert that to video. Now this is done using this software called PPT2 Video Pro and it is available at this website called Wondershare.com. It is available at a cost of $50 and once you pay the money online, you can download the software with the key straight away, activate it onto your computer. Once activated, you get this window and once that happens, you click on this icon. When we click on that, this dialog box so opens and then you click on add. When you click on that, it will ask you where your presentation is stored and this box opens. You point to where you have stored it and double click on it and it gets loaded up here. Then you click on next. And when this box opens. There are two things to be done here. First click on the format window wherein it will show you the various formats. We can store it as an FLV file, as a Facebook video file or as a YouTube file. It is rather better that you store it as a YouTube file for minimum loss of data and resolution. In order to reduce the presentation time, it is better that we set the transition time between slides for 4 seconds. And then you click on next. At which point, it will ask you that could, it, could the software export it. When you click on start, the conversion process starts. At the end of it, it will show you that it has been converted and it will show you the folder where it is saved. Here we see that it is saved in F drive in this particular folder. Then we and go to that particular folder and we find that the PowerPoint has been converted and saved in this particular folder as an MPEG file. Now you are ready to upload. We go to YouTube, have an account there, 
and then click on the upload icon where this window will open asking you to select the file from your computer and when you click on that it will be uploaded onto YouTube for the world to see as you are now doing. Thank you very much. Good luck.